wine from a producer called Lewin State. So the wine we have is the 2009 Lewin State Art Series Riesling. Uh, this producer is based out in Western Australia um, in a region called Margaret River. Now a lot of the Rieslings that I usually drink and a lot of the premium Rieslings coming out of Australia are from two regions in South Australia. One's the Clare Valley and the other is Eden Valley and you hear these names uh, being uh, branded around a lot when it comes to Australia's best Riesling. But actually, Margaret River is producing some, some top, top wines. Not only Riesling, actually, but other varieties as well. And although it only represents 3% of the wine being made in Australia, crucially, 20% of the premium wine being made in Australia comes from Margaret River. So you've got a lot of great boutique wineries out there. The amount of wine they're producing may be smaller than some other regions, but there's some really, really outstanding winemaking. So I'm looking forward to trying this. As I said, this is the Art Series Riesling from Lewin Estate which is their top range of wines. Uh, they do an Art Series Chardonnay, an Art Series Shiraz, and I think some others, but, but, but we have here the Riesling. So I'm really excited to be trying it. Let's get it in the glass. Okay, first, let's see if we can pick up on the bit. Definitely getting some dominant citrus coming through, some lime. Some grapefruit coming there, like, uh, like a sort of a sweeter pink grapefruit. And a hint of crunchy green apple as well. Let's put it to the taste test, give it a, give it a slurp. Mm. Wow, first thing to notice about that wine, absolutely dry. No residual sugar there at all. A very, very dry wine. But it's a powerful wine. I'm getting that, that lime coming through big time, um, the lemon and the grapefruit, a lot of citrusy flavours coming through on the palate, and kind of what it reminds me of, um, I don't know if you've ever had that uh, Italian dessert, like lemon or lime granita, because what they do is they just squeeze some lemons, squeeze some limes, mix them together and chuck in a load of sugar, and what you have is this really zesty, tangy, sweet dessert. And although there's no sugar in this wine, it's very, very dry wine, I'm getting that vibrant citrus. It's a powerful, powerful wine. It's, it's got structure and it's well made, a lot of focus, but, but that powerful lime fruit coming through. But at the same time, it's got restraint. It's not sort of trying to, you know, smash your, uh, smash your head off. It's, it's, I think it, it, it's, it, it, what it does is it, it shows that it's um, got focus, it shows that it's, um, got a strong, round, developed fruit, but at the same time shows some elegance, shows some class. Um, all in all, this is a, a very impressive wine. Um, great length. Sign of a good wine is how long do those those flavours linger at the back of your back of your mouth when you've taken a taken a slurp, and um, you know some thirty seconds later, I've still got these these wonderful fruity, limey uh, 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 flavours at the back of my throat. So all in all, um, yeah, I give this the double thumbs up. Um, I really enjoy this wine, I think you will too, so why not give it a go? Cheers.